Shalom. Call Hala, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom, to the Akiam and to the Akwath, love you brothers and sisters, Adawan Rataza, let us say Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ayabad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. To feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And um, this lesson is going to be all of the spirit, rolling in the spirit, you know, whatever the spirit allows, that what I speak upon. But my, my, my heart, my mind is geared toward uh, the brotherhood, all right, the brothers in, 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 uh, down here in Florida and other parts of the, the world, you know, where uh, danger um, uh, might be in uh, your surrounding, okay? Um, for us brothers down here in Florida, all right, um, you know, you have this hurricane that's approaching later on tonight, Hurricane Milton. All right. So the reason I'm doing this lesson is um, to encourage brothers to stay strong, um, keep the faith, and know that Yahweh Bashim is in control of all things, and the law will deliver. You know, the scripture speaks about um, uh, men ought to uh, pray rather than faint. Okay, so we got to stay in prior, all right, because we know Yahweh Bashim Al Shai controls all things. Okay, um, real quick, let me see if I could just uh grab that scripture real quick. Bear with me here. You know, you got to interject some some scripture. So let me see if I can find that real quick. Uh, I believe it's in... Um, okay, the Luke. Luke chapter... Uh, it is... Luke chapter 1, it's like here, Luke chapter 18 and verse 1. It says, And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray, right? And not to faint, all right? So that's speaking of our Lord Yahushai. I think it's, it's another one. Uh, let me see. Bear with me here. All right. Um, for time's sake, for time's sake, we're gonna just we're gonna go with that one. Okay. But um, yeah, we gotta uh, stay encouraged, man, because we know. All right, the Lord is visiting, visiting the earth by way of storm and tempest, and many other ways. Okay. The scripture, the scripture speaks about the time when the law will begin to act and bring to pass this strange act. All right? Bring to pass this strange work. Okay? We, we live in these times where, all right, the Lord is, 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 is visiting the earth, man, to bring judgments uh, to the earth and punishments upon the people that are not adhering to his words. Okay? Uh, let me get the scripture real quick. This is the uh, this is the book of um, 
uh, Isaiah the 28th chapter, on about the 20 verse, first verse, it says, For the Lord shall rise up as in Mount Perezim, Perezim, Salakia, he shall be wroth as in the valley of Gibeon, that he may do his work, his strange work, right, and bring to pass his act, his strange act, right? We're living in the times where you seeing, uh, look at the size of that storm, Milton, man, category five, okay? The Lord is in control of all things, man, all right? But we know, all right, uh, the angel encamped around about those that fear the Lord, man. So you know how I'm going to come to those that fear the Lord, man, okay? The scripture speaks about how the angels, uh, let's grab two of those scriptures right quick. All right, Psalms 91, and um, we're going to get, let's get Psalms 34 first. So let's go to the book of Psalms. All right, this is Psalms 34 and verse 7. And it says, the angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. So the angels encampeth. That means they always about the men of the Lord. Okay, they always around the men of the Lord. All right, they they encamp it round about the men of the Lord. All right, to 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 deliver. All right, should anything come nigh unto the men of the Lord, the angels encamp it round about to deliver. Man, it says the angel of the Lord encamp it round about them that fear him and delivereth them. Okay, so whether it be storm, all right, tempest. Okay, the scriptures tell you how. Uh, look at the day, the generations of old. Let's grab that real quick, and then we're gonna get the Psalms 91. See, the scriptures tell you how things written the time was written for our learning. They're supposed to build up your faith, man. All right, even even in the face of trouble, in the face of tribulation, in the face of adversity, the scriptures, man, supposed to uh, 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 build it up. The, uh, um, the scriptures say. Um, and wisdom and knowledge shall be uh, 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 right the, uh, the the stability of thy time and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. You see, that's why you got to be built up in the scriptures, man. You got to be made hardened as a as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai up against the times that we're coming into. Okay, um, so let's get it real quick. This is the uh, the book of um, Sirach, the second chapter and. Uh, the 10 verse it says look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in the lord and was confounded or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken or whom did he ever despise that called upon him right the scriptures tell you how the righteous call upon the lord and the lord delivered them out of all of their troubles man all key word all you see so brothers all right, sisters, that's calling on the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh The scriptures tell you, Proverbs chapter uh, 18 and verse 10, the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. Okay? That's our stronghold. That's our place of refuge. That's where we abide in the secret place. As a matter of fact, let's go to that now. Let's go to Psalm 91. All right? Let's go to Psalms 91. Psalms 91 verse 1 It says He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High Shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty Right Because you dwell in the secret place Alright You came to the sanctuary You see You got the understanding Through the Holy Spirit You're doing the things that's pleasing in the sight of the Lord You're trying You're putting your best foot forward You're giving all diligence to make a call in an election Sure Praying Alright And doing the things all right, in the spirit, all right, as the scripture said to put on as the elect, okay, showing forth uh, 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 the praises, uh, making your body a living sacrifice, all right. The scripture speaks about how uh, the Lord says he's not unrighteous to forget your, your, your work and labor of love. You see, roughly paraphrasing, you see, so we got to continue. To, to, to call upon the name of the Lord and send up send up those prayers. 
Okay, sending up those prayers for guidance, protection, all right, for deliverance, you know. So I'm going to jump down, right? Verse 7, it says, A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. You see? I'm going to jump down again, right? It says, um, I want to get the part where it says, Speaking about the angels, right? I'm gonna go down to verse uh, nine. It says, "Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation." You see, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Right? Speaking of the angels again, verse eleven, Psalms ninety-one and eleven: "For he shall give his angels charge over thee." to keep thee in all thy ways, all right? They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a, a stone. It says, thou shalt tread upon the, li the lion and adder, the young lion and the, and the dragon shalt thou trample on the feet, because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. See, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, all right, Baha Hashem in the Hebrew, all right, in the name, all right, Yahweh Shai, which is the name of our Lord and Savior. Okay, it says, verse uh, 15, he shall come, he shall, he shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with a long life. Will I satisfy him and show him my salvation? Okay, so as I say, at the end of the day, we know Yahweh Bashim Shai is in full control of all things, man. You know? And the Lord already told us when you go to um uh uh what's that, Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter twenty nine and verse eleven. It says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, said the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an, an expected end. All right? So this is why we hope. The scriptures say we are, we, are, we, are, we are prisoners of hope, man. Our hope is in uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to the, 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 the deliver us from these times and these evils, all right, and tribulation that's coming to the earth, man, and, and, and the visitation by way of storm and tempest. We pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai that our households, all right, the brothers, the Akim from the elders on down to regional leaders, to younger brothers, to the sisters that believe in this truth and believe on the names of Yahab Bashim Yahushar. We pray that the Lord keep us and preserve us and guide us, okay? And pray to be a number, a part of that number, of that precious number of the elect. So once again, all right, this lesson was um, um, rolling in the spirit, all right, um, coming into the times that we're coming into and things like this storm, um, Hurricane Milton, that's... Um, uh, getting ready to touch Florida, all right, which brothers are here in Florida, I'm here in Florida, um, and we just, in the meantime, you know, praying to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, for guidance, all right, uh, deliverance from all evil, okay, uh, and, and and we'll be calling on Yahweh, the names of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man, all right, so hopefully, uh, you know, Hopefully you got something out of this. Hopefully you were edified. I'm going to end the video there. End the lesson there. Giving all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. That were honest to the elders and the pastors of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. With that, until the next time, Shalom.